property industry is everywhere. It owns everything from pharmacies to bookshops to housing and even hospitals. Its go-to playbook is something called a leveraged buyout. That's where private equity firms use a small amount of equity and then load up on debt to buy up a company. These types of transactions have boomed since the financial crisis, when central banks lowered interest rates to zero, making it cheaper to borrow money. But that type of borrowing is just the beginning. As the private equity sector has increased in size and complexity, banks have become a sort of one-stop shop for the industry. They lend to buyout companies, the funds that acquire them, the firms that manage them, and the investors that back them. Now, with a steep rise in interest rates, the private equity industry has come under pressure. Investors, which typically include large sovereign wealth funds, pension funds, and endowments, are asking for their money back before they make further investments. That has forced private equity firms to get more creative about the way they release cash from companies that they are yet to sell or list. Most firms have opted to add debt to already highly leveraged companies. As the tower of leverage starts to look increasingly more precarious, Regulators are asking whether the private equity industry poses a risk to the broader financial system.